Hello friends. We are here today in Galatians chapter 5. Now there's two major points that Paul is making in this chapter and he also says something that I think is pretty funny. So the first major point that he's making here is, is still about this idea of circumcision. You know, he, he is saying if, if you accept circumcision, you essentially have to accept the whole law. You know, that the circumcision is a symbol that, that you're, you know, becoming a Jew. And he's saying you don't have to become a Jew in order to become a Christian. In fact, there's something really interesting he says here also. He says, if you, if you do that, then, then, then Christ is, is essentially no good for you anymore. He's of no advantage to you. And more than that, he says, if you accept this, this, you know, slave, this fleshly m mindset, he says that you, you have fallen from grace. Now that's a very serious thing. I, wa I want to say, you know, this isn't just talking about the law. You know, in the last chapter, he was also mentioning this idea of of the the element the elementary uh, you know laws of the of the world. He's just talking about this idea that that you gain your own salvation through through doing good works. Now this is something that many people <laughs> today even accept this idea, and it's so wrong. You know, if you ask, if I would ask anybody around here right now. You know, you ask anybody on the street and you say, you know, do you believe you're going to go to heaven when you die? You know, are you, are you, a, are you a Christian? And, and they would say, oh yes, you know, I, I go to church and I try to be a good person. I would, I would venture to say that more than 50% of the people that you would talk to they would they would say some form of like oh yes i'm a religious person i believe this but not only that i'm a good person i do good things and they'll give you a list of all the good things that they have done that is this that is this slavery that he's talking about that is this this falling from grace you know we use that expression falling from grace in you know in our lives today but we don't give too much idea, you know, too much thought as to where it comes from. You know, if you've fallen from grace, it me essentially it means, you know, you're working for your own salvation. It is so dangerous to work for your own salvation. The only way that you can have sal salvation is through faith. By faith, with grace. And, you know, if, if you meet someone and they, and they say something like that, they say, yeah, I have, I, I'm a good person and I go to church, you know, maybe not every Sunday, but I go to church and I'm a good person. That is the absolute wrong answer. You should tell that person, it's not looking good for your prospects of actually going to heaven because you are, you are saving yourself and there's no way that you can do it the tr correct answer you can tell this to anybody the correct answer is i am a sinner and i do not deserve it but christ died so that i could have that you know and this is a, a completely different motive you know the idea that that the way that you get to heaven is is through doing good things is misguided but the things look very similar you know if you do good things because you're loving God that is very different from you're doing things so that you can get something from God it's it's completely backward and so so Paul is saying this is the funny thing Paul is saying these people that are troubling you in this way, you know, telling you that you need to go back to this, to this mindset of, of being, 
in slavery to, to, this, to this idea of being a good person. He says, I, I wish that they would emasculate themselves. You know, essentially, you know, he's talking about these people who are, who are telling them to be circumcised. You know, that is to cut, you know, a, a fleshly part around the tip of the penis. And he's saying, I wish those people would cut off their entire penis. <laughs> And, you know, essentially, he's just saying, these people are frustrating me so much, I wish that they would just, you know, go all the way with it. It would do them just as much good to cut the whole thing off as it would for you, you know, to, to be circumcised. So the next thing, the, the next major point, I guess it, you know, it's very much connected to the first point. And that is, if, if we are saved by grace, then then what good is there to, to do good things? You know, what, what, what makes a, a Christian good if, if not this, this, these laws that they live by? And he even says here, you know, all the laws can be summed up in this idea that you should love other people like you want to be loved. You should treat other people the way that you would want to be treated. But he talks about something vastly different. And he, he talks about walking in the spirit. Because All the way you're deductible. Oh. So he talks about walking in the spirit. And this is vastly different from just doing doing something right. You know, he, he's saying when when you accept Christ, when you accept the, the Holy Spirit in your life. So what he says is when you're walking in the flesh, you follow the, the flesh, you know, and he's saying when, when you go through, when you go through life, you end up in sinful things, you know, and he lists them, you know, sexual immorality and strife and it's, it's you know, enmity and, and things that get in be between you and other people. But he said when you walk in the spirit, when you, when you have the Holy Spirit, and the spirit is is strong with you it's close with you you know it's something that you're developing in your life you get what's what's called the fruit of the spirit now you list these things and i remember this list it's a little a little easier to remember because it's a better list he says that you know the fruit of the spirit is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control these things are the fruit of the Spirit, meaning that it's not something that you need to try to do. You know, it, it's very different. A lot of people look at this list and think, yeah, you know, let's look through the list and see what things we can work on. But it's not like that. Paul is not saying you need to look at these fruits and see which ones you have and which ones you don't. He's saying you need to connect with God. You need to connect with God and then you know, it's a kind of a cause and effect thing. If you try to get the fruit, <laughs> it's not gonna work. But if you work on the root of the vine, you know, and you work on, you work on building up the, the fruits, they come out. You know, that, that's, the, that's the effect. So make sure you don't get the, the effect before the cause. You need to work on your relationship with God. You need to love God. You need to follow Him. And then, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those things will just flow out. They'll just happen. Now, this is, this is vastly different from you following these things so you can go to heaven. You love God first, and then the goodness comes out. So... That is Galatians chapter 5. Have a great day. Bye.